Hi guys, hi guys. I'll just come on here to do a check and let y'all know how the lock journey's going. It's been a week and I'm still going for it. Only thing I dislike is not being able to wash my hair as much because I told y'all in previous videos that I suffer from dry scalp. But all is well though. I just keep up with the oil. And everything's still good. Mm. Y'all ever had this? It's the um, pure leaf sweet tea, extra sweet tea. I know this drinking the regular sweet tea is um is not sweet, but the extra sweet tea on point. But I just come on here to give y'all a mental update and check on y'all. The last time I did a mental update was I had hair <laughs> we. And it was three weeks ago. And I just want to let y'all know, every day is getting better. I'm progressing every day. I find myself praying to start my day, and that just makes my day so much better. So, y'all start your day with God, and let God have his hand in y'all life, and you can't go wrong. So, I just feel like that's the best advice I can give you. If you just start your day with God. I'm sorry about the light. It's just extra sunny outside. Look at all that. But start your day with God. And that's just how it goes. If you just let God put a hand in your life. Jesus. The best. I just feel so much better. Honestly. Since the last mental update. I haven't struggled with. Like thoughts of insecurity. Because I know what I know what I want in life is lining up for me I know what I'm manifesting is coming it's working for me everything just have to be in a line so I now believe more in my prayers which was hard for me because I pray for the things I want and then be like they're not coming or they're not coming fast enough and if you pray for something you actually have to wholeheartedly believe in what you're praying for so that's making me feel much better um, I'm eating these Vienna sausages. Have you, do y'all eat those? Is that weird? So what I do is, you know, the juice and stuff that it come on with, I actually pour it out and pour hot, run hot water on the sausages until they like a little bit shrink up, like the hot water is cooking them. And I take a cracker and I put it on top. I love you. It's weird, but good for me. But anyway, yes. Yeah. So um, I wrote down some notes that I wanted to leave y'all with, and go get them. So not leave y'all, but discuss. Don't let the fear of fairies stop you in achieving your goal or just doing anything that you want to do. You got to fail to succeed. That's how I feel. Like if you never fail, how would you know? what to do different or how would you know to try something different you know like in school i don't like failing the test but it makes me know when i get to do the test over again what did i need to do different or you know what i'm saying how to need to study harder it just makes me feel better for the next time well does that make sense and um change the narrative of what you feel about yourself like that's you have to literally change your mind to think different, to do different. Like, okay, your past was your past, and you cannot say, oh, I'm, I ain't gonna never make it in life because of what I did. You can't focus your future on how your past was. You have to change the narrative of yourself. You can't think negative of yourself and expect a positive outcome of yourself. And I'm also determined to change the narrative of myself. Like, I know how my past was. I am not that person. I am not that person anymore. And in order for me to do better in my future, I have to literally know that I'm not that person and change my future and change myself so I can have a better future. So that's what I want y'all to leave yourself with. You have to literally change the narrative of yourself. Okay, you had a bad past, so what? But I mean, your future is going to be bad. You have to change your mindset. You have to think positive. Just as much energy you take to think something negative is use that energy to think positive. 
You know, start thinking something like this. Switch it around. Instead of saying, oh, I ain't going to be able to do it. Yes, you will. Just say, I'm going to be able to do it. Take small steps to achieve your goal. If your goal is big, do the small steps that it takes and then work on the big goal. Like, I want to graduate. I can't graduate without being in school. I can't graduate without passing tests. I can't graduate without studying. So I have to study, to, you know, I have to pass tests. Um, I'm excited because I failed to finish school numerous of times in my adult life. But I honestly feel like this is the time I'm going to get my degree. I procrastinated within the last month or so in finishing classes and stuff. But I did pass this semester with two A's, so I'm going to push myself a little harder. I am more than halfway closest to my degree, so I'm very excited about that. Um, I just feel a little... I'm, every day, is, it's not a struggle, I'm not going to say, because struggle is... Saying it's the heart. It's hard. It, every day is a learning experience to grow mentally. Every day is a new day to I get closer to my goal and of uh, being self confident and being independent again. Every day I wake up praying to God that something great happened, which is great to me is having a positive day great to me is not having an argument with people I live with great to me is not just being upset period so I'm at that point where I just want to have peace within and if I can be if I can go a whole day without arguing with somebody or anything of that I've accomplished something that's that's great to me you know so I just hope y'all got out of this video if you change your narrative of yourself, you can change your outlook of your future, like change your mindset. Don't let your past you dictate what your future you're going to be. All right? It's not possible. Just because you had a past, that's just in the past. Let it go. I am not who I was years ago, and I am so thankful that God kept me so I can get on here to let y'all know that it does not matter what happened in the past. All you have to do is stick to it and you can change your life put God first seek ye first in the kingdom of God and everything will be okay y'all have a great weekend I'll probably see y'all again this weekend probably not I love y'all bye love y'all